Next, it shows the pump. And so now he's able to see which two bolts need to be removed and exactly where to place his hands in order to safely and effectively remove this uh, pump, pump body assembly. As you see, as he moves around in 3D, it stays perfectly aligned so that no matter if he, if he doesn't understand what he needs to do, he can just keep moving around until he completely understands the task at hand. So he understands the task at hand, he sees it, now he does it. Next step, he's going to insert the slotted screwdriver blade into the impeller. Now, there's 20 different ways you can remove that impeller. The best way is exactly how we're showing it. So he's able to insert that screwdriver, tap it with a hammer, and it's going to spin it right off the end. Once again, he sees it and does it. The next step, he's going to pull out the calipers and he's going to measure that drive shaft diameter and replace that drive shaft if the diameter is less than 15.8 millimeters. So normally you might have to refer to a manual to do that. With this technology, it's all right on the screen, right inside his glasses. So I remind you, everything that David is seeing, that you guys are seeing on the television, David's seeing directly in his glasses. So as you can see, the number comes in at 16.3 millimeters, which is greater than 15.8. So this is a pass, we don't have to replace that, and we can move forward. The great thing is we can also then click record, and we can save that measurement without having to uh, record it on paper. It all gets saved in a document management system.